Welcome. This is the Cisco CCNA ENSA, also known as the Enterprise Networking Security and Automation course. This course focuses on the CCNA version 7 curriculum. This is course 3 of 3. Here we're looking at lab 2.3.11, determining the DR and backup DR. So like normal, we have our lab on the left, lab instruction on the right. I'm gonna go ahead, I have the address table copied down. I let my lab run for a few minutes so that I can make sure that my neighbor adjacencies are set up. So uh, per normal, we read through the steps. When we first open Packet Tracer, we have to make sure the switch uh, is not amber. We may have to click fast forward so that we can get that into its normal state. Once that happens, go to step two. Step two, we're going to do a show IP OSPF neighbor on all of the different routers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I can see that my neighbor adjacencies have formed using OSPF process ID 5, I believe. All right, so enable show IP OSPF neighbor. And I can see that my neighbor is my full DR, and I can see that my other neighbor is my backup DR. So 22 is DR, 33 is our DR. So 31.33, it looks like RC, the loopback for RC, is our designated router. But you know what, let's just double check. I'm gonna hop on RB, show IP OSPF neighbor. And again, 33 is showing as our full DR and our dot 11 is showing DR other. So 33 is our designated router. 22 is our backup designated router and the rest of them are DR others. I'm gonna hop on RC just to make sure. Enable, show IP OSPF, neighbor, and it does show 22 as backup DR, and it shows 11 as DR other. So which router is the DR? Again, router C, loopback interface, which is the backup DR, that'd be router B, loopback interface. What is the OSPF uh, state in RA? It is the DR other. All right, so step three, turn off IP OSPF adjacency. So on RA, debug IP OSPF ADJ. So debugging is turned on. I'm going to do the same thing on RB. Debug IP OSPF adjacency. So they are both done. So next step, step four, use the shutdown to disable the link between RC, wait 30 seconds for the dead timer on both RA and RB. So again, disable gig zero zero. So, com t gig zero zero. Did 
the interface was turned off. Again, 30 second dead timer, and we should see the event on both RA and RB. It should be alerting any time now. All right, there it goes. The timer has expired. It has elected a new designated router. It has elected a new backup designated router. So we're going to go ahead and restore the link. No shutdown. And again, dead timer. It's going to take some time. So no interface. Turned it up. But again, the dead timer hasn't been breached yet. All right, there it goes. So this is all one time. And it's, no, it's still showing the same thing. The adjacency is loaded. You will know that our OSPF has still kept the 22 as our designated router and dot 11 as our backup designated router, even though the OSPF link between A and B have been reconnected to C. C should be the new designated router, but it was off and it actually already held the election, so it's not going to re-elect itself after it had lost it. An election only occurs when the designated router actually no longer is available. That's when an election will reoccur. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do a show IP show IP OSPF neighbor so we can now see that 22 is the designated router dot 11 is the backup designated router so now moving on to RB I'm going to have RA open while I do this get to our global configuration get to our gig interface shut down that killed the interface our debug is still on so we're still getting all the details the dead timer will eventually uh, populate so that we can see uh, router A with the new dead timer. Alright, there it goes. The dead timer has been uh, elapsed. It is elected dot 11 as the designated router. It is elected dot 33 as the backup designated router. We see them there again. Designated, backup designated. So if we no shut on the gig interface on our being per the instructions, this will not cause a new election to occur because this is our designated router, this is our backup designated router. It will not require a, another election. So step seven is complete. Step eight 
enter the unbug all command on RA and RB and on debug all I'll disable it on this as well on debug all debug has now been turned off for the instructions so now we want to go ahead and change the priority so to change our priority so that we can actually force what device we want for DR and our BDR, we can manipulate our priorities. And we can do that by going to the interface, typing IP OSPF priority, and we can modify this. The default priority is going to be left on R1. The default priority is a value of 1. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's set our priority. What we can do is hop on RA get to our global configuration, get to our interface, get 0 slash 0, IP OSPF, oh. interface, IP OSPF, priority, 200 on RA, we're going to set 100 on RB, Again, global configuration, get to our gig interface, IP OSPF, priority 100. So OSPF is already running on these devices. So changing the priority like this isn't going to really do anything unless you force a re-election OSPF. Int gig 0 slash 0 IP OSPF priority 1. So you'll notice step 2 is start with router A and issue a clear IP OSPF process. This will reset the OSPF process. So I'm going to Click on all three routers, get them all up. Clear OS, clear IP OSPF process. does not like that. Reset, yes. We'll end. Clear IP OSPF. Clear IP OSPF process, yes. And lastly, last router. Clear IP OSPF process, yes. I'm going to pause again and then we will see whether it's converged again and we will see what our designated router and our back designated router are. Right, that should be long enough. IP OSPF neighbor thirty one is set or thirty three is set to one, twenty two is set to one hundred. Backup designated router is what we were expecting. Show 
IP OSPF oh, neighbor 111 sorry 11 is showing 200 like we should it's showing our designated router 33 is showing priority of one and it's showing a DR other that's correct show IP OSPF neighbor and it's showing dot 11 as priority of 200 as our designated router so we have completed the lab let's check our results to make sure check results everything is there 30 out of 30 3 out of 3 lab is complete questions or concerns please reach out thank you